Dave Made Maze brings the notion of practical effects to a whole new level. This is easily the most unique movie I've seen all year. Okay, I can explain it. I can explain everything. Dave Made a Maze is literally exactly what the title suggests. Dave is an artist who has serious problems completing anything that he started, but this time his creation reaches a new level when his longtime girlfriend Annie arrives at their small flat and finds a big cardboard fort in front of her. Maybe you've done this as well, but I as a child love building forts. They weren't made out of cardboard, but blankets, bed covers and everything else laying around in my room. As an adult it seems just like a little tent, but as a kid it's a giant secret world that you just created. And in Bill Watterson's amazing movie it's also not just a cardboard hiding place, but a giant come to life labyrinth with booby traps, critters and even a big minotaur. Dave got himself lost in his own creation and it doesn't take long until Annie, his close friend Gordon and the whole team that's shooting a documentary about the whole incident join him. In a funny way Dave Made a Maze is almost like a counterpart to Darren Aronofsky's mother. What I mean is that the things on screen very directly stand for more than what they appear on the outside. This isn't just a normal adventure story about some people in a strange maze. This is about this man's personal inner struggle. It's a movie about creating, about art, about depression. It's very clear on one hand and on the other open for your own interpretations. It's also about filmmaking itself. Very apparent in the existence of an own documentary team that's trying to capture everything happening in that maze, but also because of the suspension of disbelief. We want to go into that maze ourselves. We clearly see at the beginning that it's just some cardboards in a couple's living room, but as it is for the characters in the movie, all the things in it come to life for us as an audience as well. We want to believe the illusion is real. And Dave Made a Maze makes use of so many practical filmmaking techniques that it's a true marvel for anyone who's just the least interested in cinema. First of all, there's a new world that's created out of cardboard. There are creatures hanging on strings or moved from below. There are several rooms with fascinating optical illusions. There's even a sequence where all our protagonists turn into cardboard muppets. From the opening credit montage, Dave Made a Maze is full of creative, fascinating ideas that aren't just there to entertain, but also add layers to the different themes of the movie. There are also a lot of references and influences that you could catch and be reminded of. From Blade Runner to Star Wars, 2001 A Space Odyssey or simply The Muppets. Though I have to say that with just 80 minutes the movie still feels a little bit long towards the end. The story itself, while told in a highly unique fashion, is rather simple and it does run a little bit out of steam I thought. But with a project this passionate I can't really complain that much. Director Bill Watterson attended a screening at the Slash Film Festival where I've seen the movie and he was just the nicest and also funniest guy in the world. You could really feel his love and also his struggle to finish this film, which was also his very first one, which makes it even more impressive. Of course this was independently financed and the budget was so small you can't believe they were able to achieve this little cinematic wonder. They just had two rooms available in their studio, which meant they could only ever shoot the scene of one room in the maze, while they were simultaneously building the next one. After completing the scene in the first, it was destroyed in order to make space for the following. According to Waters, normally a room wouldn't live longer than about 4 hours. What I haven't even touched on so far is that Dave Made a Maze is a very funny film. Kind of an anarchic slacker comedy with peculiar characters, especially in Dave's friend Gordon, and excellent timing. While the movie won't appeal to everybody, I still highly recommend checking it out if you have the chance. In German I'd say, der womöglich kreativste, einzigartigste Film des Jahres. I give Dave Made a Maze 7.5 out of 10. It's more like 7.4, but I don't do that. Okay, I can explain it. I can explain everything. No, I can't. Alright, that's it. Like always, comment below and let me know what you think about Dave Made a Maze. You can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like, and make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell.
We're not just doing that because it rhymes. Well, then how about instead of trying to diminish it, you guys help me finish it. Oh! Yes! Yes! He's back.